Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of area and volume. This is standard 6.8D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 25, a new item type called Hotspot, of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So this is hotspot. We need to select three correct answers. All right, so if I just try to select two, it is going to give me a warning saying I haven't selected everything. And if I select three, it is impossible for me to select four. So they really want you to select just three. And we have, looks like we've got two triangles, but they're completely different. And it looks like we got three rectangles. We need to find shapes that have equal areas. All right, so let's open up our graph draw feature. We're going to have to just calculate the area of all five of these. And let's go ahead and have this open as well, just in case we need it. All right, so the area of a triangle, right, is going to be the uh, one half base times height. So let's put that there. Area of a triangle equals one half base times height. And then a rectangle or parallelogram. I don't think we have any parallelograms, just rectangles. It's just base times height. All right, so we've got our formulas. We're ready to calculate. So let's do our two triangles. So this first one here, right? So this is going to be my height because it is a right angle, so I can use the side length. Take a look at this triangle down here. I don't have a right angle, so they have to give me the, uh, the height on the inside right there. So my height is going to be uh, 6, and my base is going to be 3.4. So I'll just say 1 half times 3.4 times 6. Now, I can multiply these factors in any order I want to. I always like trying to find a way that I could just kind of get rid of that 1 half. And what I want to do is I want to multiply the 1 half times 6. Half of 6 is the same as 6 divided by 2, that's 3. So really what I'm looking at is 3.4 times 3. All right, and so that's going to be easy. Let's just do a little multiplication here. That's 12, and that's going to be 9, that's 10. So 10.2, all right, so 10.2 square inches. Let's do the other uh, triangle down here. So I've got my 1 half, base is 12. Right, I want to go ahead and do 1 half times 12 makes 6. Then my height is 1.7 or 1.7. So let's do my 1.7 times 6. All right, so that's going to be 42. And that's 6, and then add 4 is 10, so 10.2. All right. So either the other three are the same and these two are different or these are going to be two of my answers. I need to find a third one that's the same. Let's flip over. It should be a little bit easier. This is just base times height, right? So area equals base times height. So this one is going to be 5.1. I'm just going to go ahead and set it up like this because I just need to multiply the two. And that's going to be 4. That's 20.4. So that's double what I'm looking for. Let's check this. Area equals base times height. That's 7.4 times the 2. So let's just do that. That's just going to be 8. 14.8. All right, I'm not seeing that there as either. So let's hope it's this last one. It's this rectangle right here. So area is going to equal base times height. So that's going to be 2 times 5.1. I want to put my 5.1 on top so I can do a 2 by 1 times 2. There we go. Look at that. 10.2 or 10 and 2 tenths square inches. So my answer is going to be my two triangles and then this rectangle on the left. We need to make sure we get the correct ones on our hot spot. If you get all three correct, you get two points. If you only get two correct, you get one point, but if you get one or zero of the shapes correct, you get zero points. So this is a two-point problem. That's how you get both points.